Okay, so 2016 GMC Sierra. Ordered me some Bilstein 5100 shocks and struts for the front. This has got the Z71 package, and it's got the Rancho. Uh, I think I think that's what they're doing. The Rancho shocks, and uh, they're junk. I don't know if they're just wore out over time, but this is my my son's got a Toyota Tacoma. The factory shocks on his Tacoma are 20 times better than what this truck has got. Um, whenever I hit a hump in the road, it feels like I get air and I fly up out of the seat. His truck will just glide right over it, just like it's one of those uh, desert runners. It's just amazing, the, the ride difference. So I decided i got to have new shocks and struts because I'm tired of the ride that this thing's got. And uh, so we ordered some... Bilstein 5100s, and uh, we're going to open them up here. We're going to see what the, I haven't even opened, I've had these for months now, and I've just haven't been, I haven't had time to uh, put them on. So we're going to see what we got. Hopefully they're right, because I don't know if they would uh, take them back after it's been six months since I've ordered them. Okay, so these are for the rear. They even come with boots. I did not think they came with boots, but but they do. Uh, I believe they even say they're rebuildable. Although I tried to find uh, rebuild kits for them, and I could not find rebuild kits for the 5100s. It does say they're assembled in USA, so when it says assembled, that generally means that uh, the parts and stuff are sourced from another country. But all in all, yeah, they look, and they look nice. And I hope they're going to make a huge difference. I cannot wait to see what kind of ride difference this thing's going to have. So let me get set up. And uh, whenever you get these, don't 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 pull this off yet. The uh, see this band that keeps it compressed. So don't pull that off until you're ready to uh, get it put on, and then you can you can cut it, and it'll start to extend, and you can snap this, uh, put your bolt in as it's as it's extending. Otherwise, you may have to compress it or lift the truck. I'm going to try to do this without even lifting the truck up off the ground. We'll see how much room I've got once I crawl up underneath it. So let me get set up. Okay, before we get started, um, if you go to Bill Stein, there's been a lot of controversy as to which way the boot goes. Basically, which orientation the shock goes. Because on this particular truck, both ends have just the regular eyelet right here. So this shock can be put on either way. Bill Steen on their website recommends that well they don't just recommend they actually say that the label should be uh, upright which will place this boot on the bottom so if you're putting on Bill Steen shocks regardless of where the boots at go by the label it specifically says Bilstein shock should be uh, the label should be upright. If the label is upside down, then you need to flip the shock around. So in this particular case, the boot's going to be on the bottom, which is, in my opinion, the best way to do it. That way, if you do get water, moisture, mud, dirt uh, in the boot, the boot's not going to hold it in there for the uh, piston uh, rod to grind on as it's you know going through its motions so that's the way we're going to put these on the boots going to be on the bottom the labels going to be upright 
and everything should be good. So just keep that in mind. If you want to see that for yourself, go to Bilstein's website. They have a frequently asked questions uh, section, and that's one of the questions. Which way do the shocks need to be put on? And they answer that by whichever way the sticker is oriented. That's the way the shock needs to be installed. So here we go. Okay, so what we got, we got uh, 21 millimeter on the bottom, 21 on top. So we're going to see, I don't know if the impact will knock this loose or not. Ah! Oh, yes, it did. Okay, so there's the bottom bolt. Let me go ahead and we'll see about getting the top one. See, those are ranchos. You get the rancho shocks if you get this Z71 um, option. But I swear these shocks absolutely are garbage. I would never recommend these on anything. I'm going to use both hands here. Now I'm not going to take the uh, strap off yet. I'm going to have to compress it anyway. So let me get let me get this upper bolt in first. And actually, I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift the truck up. I'm going to jack the truck. Should do it. Maybe. So what I'd like to do is just get that exactly where I need it. So I'm going to lower this just a little bit. And this is just trying to make it easy on myself. That way I don't have to worry about um, compressing that spring. Let's see.
There it is. Awesome. So that's all there is to it. Putting Bilstein shock onto a 2016 GMC Sierra Silverado will be the exact same as a lot of the SUVs will be. But just remember, label side upright. So that would put the boot on the bottom per Bilstein's instructions. And uh, we'll take this out for a test drive just as soon as I get the. I'm not going to show the other side because it's going to be the same same deal. The only difference is. You see how this shock is on the back side of the axle. The other side is on the front side. But it's the same procedure. 21 millimeter. And uh, there you go. So once I get this one changed out, we'll come back and we'll take it down the road. And I'll give you my opinion on what just the rear shocks, um, how, they, how they feel compared to these. This truck does have 90,000 miles on it, so, you know, these shocks, you can see there's rust on them. I don't know how good these shocks are doing, but they still seem to have a gas charge in it, because this one extended. In fact, let's, let's compress this. 90,000 mile shot. Yeah. I mean, it takes all my weight to compress this shock. So, I mean, it's still, it's still, <clears throat> it's still got a lot to it. They're just, in my opinion, they're just not a good quality shock. So, hopefully these Bilstein's will outperform them. So, let me get this other one uh, installed. Okay, so I've driven uh, probably uh, 10 to 12 miles with these new Bilstein shocks on the back. And there's definitely a difference between the old ride and the new ride. Um, it actually motivates me to want to put the front Bilstein struts on. That's going to be a little bit more of an endeavor, but I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting, getting that done as much as I hate to dive into that it's hot but as much as I can tell that the back end is many times smoother than what the front is when I hit a, a, a dip in the road or a, a hole uh, a, a speed bump the front is a lot more harsh than what the rear is now the rear is just I mean it's a difference between night and day so definitely a huge difference from the Bilsteins than the old Rancho shocks that was on it. Uh, I don't know how much wear and tear the Ranchos had. Like I say, this truck's got 90,000 miles on it. Um, the Rancho shocks seem to be fine. Whenever I took them off, they they still, uh, you know, they didn't appear to be leaking. They still had quite a bit of gas charge in them uh, whenever I compressed them. Uh, you know they spring back like they should they feel like they should so uh, you know I don't know I don't know how they rode I bought this truck used so I don't know how the uh, ride was whenever it was new uh, I'm sure it was probably better than what it was you know now but the Rancho shocks still I think should have been a lot better than what they were my son like I said my son's Tacoma is an old uh, older truck and it's got a lot better ride. It just glides over bumps and dips and stuff compared to this truck. So, as of right now, I would definitely highly recommend Bilstein shocks. This the series I've got here is the 5100s. Um, going over that speed bump right there. I don't know if you could tell, but the uh, the rear was much smoother going over it than what the front was the front just bounces uh, you know violently so I try to really take it easy whenever I'm coming up on speed bumps and uh, dips in the road and stuff because of because of how harsh the ride is anyway without babbling too much 
the Bilsteins definitely are making a big difference on the back. So I'm sure the front is probably going to make even more of a big difference than what the rears are. <clears throat> so I'm going to I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. As of right now, I don't have nothing planned tomorrow, so I might do that. But like I say, the temperatures are getting up into the mid 90s, upper 90s, uh, with high humidity and man it just beats me down uh, especially the humidity but uh anyway we'll see what we can get done you guys i'm out take care